G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and today we're going to take a look at Adobe Photoshop Elements 13. I'm going to show you my favourite new features. So let's open it up. And now we're going to choose the photo editor, which is how we create scrapbook pages and edit our photos. Here we are in Photoshop Elements and the first thing you'll see is the eLive screen. It brings us tutorials and also the help for the program. You can click through to read articles on the web and learn more about Photoshop Elements. But where we do most of our scrapbooking is in the expert mode, so let's click on expert mode. So the first thing we're going to do is click on File, New, Blank File. And here's where our first new feature comes in. We've got some presets here and one of them is scrapbooking. Now if you're in the US or Canada, this isn't news for you. You've had these for a number of versions. But in Photoshop Elements 13, the whole world gets digital scrapbooking sizes. So the default setting is 12 by 12 inches at 300 pixels per inch. Perfect for creating a high resolution image to print. There's also a couple of other options, 8 by 8 and 6 by 6. So let's go with the 12 by 12 inch. One of the next things we're going to I'm excited about sharing is the improvements to the tools, particularly the type tool. So first thing I'm going to do is flood fill the background of this image so that we can see it using the paint bucket tool. Then I'm going to grab my type tool and click away. In Photoshop Elements 13, under the tool options, you have your normal size, leading and font drop downs. But the great thing is we've now got scrubby sliders. If you don't know what a scrubby slider is, it's a little um, feature that allows you to click and drag on the label that says size and adjust the size. So it make, takes a guesswork out of working out how big you want your font. Of course, you can still always select a font size or type it in here. But I love being able to adjust the size with this scrubby slider. There's a lot of scrubby sliders hidden all around Photoshop Elements. The leading is also a scrubby slider under the type tool and then the opacity is also a scrubby slider. While we're here I'll show you another one of my favorite new features. Okay I'll show you another one of my favorite features now. I'll just go to open up a photograph that I want to use and then I'm going to drag it over onto this image here. Now previously in Photoshop Elements there's been a bug whereby if you click and drag your image in it would have been automatically stretched to fill up the entire canvas. Now it's not. My photo comes in at the exact resolution and size that it always was. You'll notice that it's a smart object so you can't grab a paintbrush and paint straight on it. You'll just need to click OK to simplify it and then you can graffiti over our photos if you like. Of course, personally, I prefer to keep the smart objects as is because if it's a smart object, I can resize down and resize back up without any loss of quality. If you wanted to add graffiti, just add a new layer, grab your brush tool and uh, go to town, drawing moustaches, beards and glasses as you wish. And then you can always turn it off. 
So that brings us to another new feature. I love adding a quick easy frame to a photo on a layout and it's even easier to do this in Photoshop Elements 13. Simply go to Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings and choose Stroke. By default the outside stroke is selected but this gives us a kind of odd looking curve to the corners of our photograph. If you don't want that you can just click on this position drop down box and click inside. You can also set your colour and why not add a drop shadow while we're at it. And there we have it, a beautiful stroke that has nice crisp corners. Now the great thing is if I add another photograph and I want to copy the settings all I need to do is right mouse button click, copy layer star and then paste the layer star on the other layer. Easy as pie. Another great feature of Photoshop Elements 13 is the open drop down. It has much clearer names. In the old version you used to get the full file path which would be truncated so you wouldn't be able to see what you were working on. Here it's simple to see what files I've been working on. I've just scratched the surface with some of my favourite improvements in Photoshop Elements 13 but there's so much more to be seen. These are just some of the fun new features in Photoshop Elements 13. Check out the rest of my videos at digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash videos. You'll find videos about new features such as the refined selection tool and vintage photo restoration and more. Can't wait to see you then.